This week I went looking for a B2B marketing forum anywhere in the world. And what I found was really disappointing, a little surprising and disappointing. There are not a lot of events that genuinely set out to be a B2B marketing forum. And those that do are largely dominated by consultants and sponsors. From what I did learn, I think there are five basic truths about a really great B2B marketing forum, and I want to share those with you today. A great B2B marketing forum would deal with both strategy and tactics, but I'd argue not split them. The content might be shaped by consultants, but shouldn't be delivered by them. It should be largely client-side delivery. Clients talking to clients. Forget about guarantee sponsors a speaking slot, you'll lessen the value of your event. And forget about sponsoring if you're not speaking, if you're a vendor. So what do you actually do if you're a vendor? Book a room next door, attend the event, and invite people to join your meeting. I'll explain why in today's show. Well, the first site that I came up with is Marketing Profs, and they're talking about their B2B marketing forum. So firstly, good on you guys for running a dedicated B2B marketing forum. Clearly there's a need, and the quality of your speakers and the structure of the event, I've always been a big fan of Marketing Profs. Uh, you guys continue to do an amazing job. Thank you for it. Uh, this is a four day, it's three days with an optional fourth day um, pre-event. This is a big event. As I look through the content, a um, couple of quick points. First one, I just might want to make a general point. They absolutely dominated the search pages, either their own um, site coming up or others talking about that same event. So um, they, the fact that they dominate the search engine rankings tells me two things. Firstly, good job marking profs. Secondly, there's not much else out there. Um, so um, looking at the agenda though, my net conclusion from this is really twofold, and that is that the number of tactics that a B2B marketer needs to master are many. In fact, let me say that differently. They need to understand and have competency in a whole slew of tactics, and they need to master a few. But it's a big number that they need to be across. Many of those tactics are common to consumer marketing, and I know that their application differs markedly enough to justify a B2B specific forum and there are tactics in B2B that don't make sense in consumer and likewise there are consumer tactics that don't make in B2B. Definitely worth dealing with separately but if you just read through the list of tactics you wouldn't conclude that there's an awful lot of difference at all. You and I know that there is. Interesting. So big, big range of tactics is my first big conclusion. Second one I took a look at is B2B Leaders Forum. Now this is an interesting one. It's not called B2B Marketing Forum, it's a Leaders Forum. And as I looked at the speakers and the, attend and the targeted audience, it genuinely looks like an event for leaders. Um, kind of easy to say leaders and not really mean it. I thought that they did. Let me just show you though the key takeaways, which I, re back to the top, I really quite enjoyed this. Um, the first set of takeaways, which is by the way, been nicely produced, is you need to tell your story. Sell everybody on your story. It's that wonderful old expression, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, take them with you. Telling your story is a big part of taking them with you. Next conclusion is around working collaboratively, and that's particularly around alignment, a big topic that you probably know that I rabbit on a lot about. It's a big one for me and working collaboratively, they concluded was key. And they go into some quite some detail into why that's key. Differentiate your brand, tick, got that. Uh, customers in control, tick, got that. And you need to prove marketing's worth by being across both the strategic intent of the business and to the, to the math of the business and of marketing. And you need to tell that story pretty often. It looked to me like that'd be a great forum. I wish I'd been at it. It looked like a good set of conclusions from a good bunch of folk. Um, next one is B2B Marketing Blog. Now this is taken to an archive. So crowd called Spot on Vision um, in the Netherlands have an event called um, B2B Marketing Forum, I think. I'll come to the name of it in a second. And they blog about it during the year as they build up to it. It's an annual event. We go to the speakers and I can see that spot on vision themselves, feature pretty prominently in the speaking list. It's only a one day event um, and I think it is 
uh, delivered in English uh, as well as in Dutch, which is um, uh, good for other local countries. Um, now, four really bad excuses for not attending B2B Marketing Forum. Um, that's really just a blog about somebody who's going to be at the event and is arguing why you should be at the event also, but kicks off with, if you haven't registered, what are you waiting for? Yeah, got it. And if you're going to be there, let's catch up. Good enough topic for somebody to cover. Really, it's coming to that same conclusion that I'm going to give you uh, in, in a moment, which you, and I led, you, led with at the top of the video, which is that um, there are not a lot of good forums out there, um, and really, if there are, they should be uh, dominated by subject matter. Ex sorry, they should be dominated by by client side content. I want to hear from people who've actually done it, not by consultants. Um, Final one was the most shared, have got 55 Facebook shares, 43 LinkedIn shares, 310 Twitter shares, one Pinterest and nine Google Plus, um, and therefore you obviously enjoyed it. And it's an interview. So it's an interview of um, a guy by the name of Eric Tung um, being interviewed by Kerry O'Shea Corgon, and she's interviewing in him about B2B Marketing Forum. Let me share first what I learned from looking at those events and then I'm going to give you my own conclusions which borrow a little from that but also from my own views. Firstly, I would say that our profession has a very long way to go. Certainly we've come a long way but we have a very long way to go at all if the quality and quantity of B2B marketing forums that I looked at is any indication. Secondly, the big one from marketing profs in the US dominates and uh, dominates both the search results and the airwaves generally and the content is certainly there's some client-side content but there's a lot of sponsor content in there. I found the ones that I looked at in the UK and the Netherlands to be far more strategic in, in their focus in terms of topics and therefore the likely attendees of those two events and really you need a bit of both. And I'll come back to that in my conclusions. And the first of those conclusions is that the ideal B2B marketing forum would deal with both strategy and tactics, but not split them. Here's why I argue that. If we allow for those topics to be split, then you're going to get senior execs will go to the strategy, the more junior execs will go to the tactics. They're so intertwined that you just can't split them. You need those executing to understand their context, and you need those who are building context to understand how things are going to be executed. So I would certainly deal with both deliberately in the content, but I wouldn't split them in the agenda. At least I wouldn't stream them is where I'm really going. You might have a strategy and a tactics, but you certainly wouldn't have um, one stream and then another stream that would allow people to choose one or the other path. Secondly, content might be shaped by consultants, and that's a really good idea, but I wouldn't have them speaking. It should be mostly client side. If I'm a client, I want to hear another company who's really nailed this tactic rather than a theorist. Three, forget about guaranteeing sponsorship, a speaker slot. That is, you don't pay to get a speaking slot. For really the same reason as point two. But point four, if you're a sponsor, forget about sponsoring if you're not getting a speaking slot. Why on earth would you sponsor? Therefore, I would recommend don't sponsor. Take a room next door, be an attendee and invite all of your known guests to come to the event and to meet with you at the event during the networking session opportunities. That is, use the fact that you're there really, really smartly, strategically, but I wouldn't be paying sponsorship dollars for that privilege. Well, that's it for this week. Um, if you have not done so already, can I invite you to subscribe? Reason being, you'll get an email in your inbox once a week as soon as the content's been posted. Go to mathmarketing.com forward slash blog or youtube.com forward slash mathmarketing, whatever your preference is, and uh, please subscribe there. If you have already, can I invite you to share that with a colleague? Uh, and that is, um, give them one of those links or the link to, to today's show and share that with a colleague and let them make up their own mind. Thirdly, if you've done both of those, and you'd like another topic covered, please let us know. Go to Funnel Vision or send an email to funnelvision at mathmarketing.com. Here's the email address here. Shoot me an email and let me know a topic that you'd like us to cover in a future show. We research them and then produce them. It's about a four week cycle from production um, or from research through to production, um, but uh, I'd be very happy to take your input and thank you for suggestions that have come in so far. 
Okay, that's it for this week. I hope you got value from today's blog on B2B Marketing Forum. Lots more coming next week. Until then, may your funnel be full and always fly. Our thanks this week to Rihanna Rack for her research, to Marketing Prof for the B2B Marketing Forum, one of the big ones, B2B Marketing for their leadership profile, Spot On Vision for their B2B Marketing blog, Samantha Stone for her blog about the Marketing Prof Forum, Kerry O'Shea Gorgon um, for her interview with Eric Tung, again at the forum, and Jason Thea for his amazing production, I'm Hugh McFarlane. It's my absolute pleasure to have scripted and presented this week's show, and thanks to Rev for transcription.